Hi, Coco. I got your question about you have a, a disrespectful colt that uh, maybe wants to nip on you a little bit. And he might be acting a little playful, but it hurts just as bad if one nips on you in a playful manner as it does, <coughs> excuse me, one maybe with some aggression. What your problem is, is your horse doesn't understand where you fit into his herd. He thinks maybe you're on a level playing field to you, or maybe he's above you in the pecking order. And what you need to do is you need to instill in him where he fits into the herd of two. So you say when you're in a round pen, he's not too bad, because you kind of got him cornered. And uh, he might be a little bit more wary about that he is cornered, so he's not really thinking about interacting with you in that manner. He's more in his defense mode. But when you get him out in his comfort zone, out in the pasture, where he's with some other horses, he doesn't feel that, that placement, that herd dynamic between you and him. So what you need to do is you need to work him, and, and I'd, I'd probably, I'd work him on the end of a hackamore, or a hackamore of a halter, and I'd maybe work him loose in, in my round pen to where I would understand that when, uh, when I stepped to him, he needed to move his feet. And in your whole presentation, and there's videos on Cowboy Campus about this, about fitting into the herd dynamic. But your whole presentation when you're working with your horse, Coco, if you're maybe stepping to him and a little meek and maybe a little diminutive to where he feels that just because of the presence in your body language is that you're being a little submissive, he's gonna check you out and take advantage of that. So you need to square your shoulders and step to him and have him move away from you. I use suggest, ask, tell. And if you go to our, our videos, there's a total explanation on how that works. And what that means is when I suggest something, if I don't get the change I'm looking for, I'm gonna ask for it. If I don't get the change I'm looking for, I'm gonna follow it up with tell. I always know what I want, I know what it looks like when I get it, and I make darn sure I get it. And it's the same thing, whether you're working one on the ground, whether you're interacting with them, maybe you're feeding them, they're in a herd dynamic, or when you're sitting on your back riding them. You have to have them understand that in the herd environment, you are dominant. And when you step towards them, they need to move out of your space, not the other way around. So sometimes that's a, a little hard pill to swallow. You might have to dig deep. And, uh, and when I say this, I don't mean be super aggressive and in attack mode on your horse. You're gonna do it in a calm manner, but you're gonna step towards that horse, sh shoulder squared, and he's gonna move his feet. He needs to move out of you. If uh, you just moving towards him in that manner doesn't get that change, you might have a flag in your hand, you might have the end of your lead rope, you're gonna build on it. You're gonna add enough pressure to get that change. And when you start something, you'll always follow through. It won't take very long before that horse figures out, aha, I see where I fit in with this person. He's above me in the pecking order and I need to yield to him other than the way around. So try that, Coco. Uh, get back to me, got any more questions? Let me know how it makes it, how it works out for you.